when you buy a, uh, a saw, a rip saw for dovetailing from whatever manufacturer, it will come with the teeth already sharpened and there'll be a set on the teeth. So the set is the degree to which alternate teeth either go left or right. And we need set on the blade um, so that it doesn't get jammed in the curve, so the blade doesn't get jammed in the curve. But the problem I think is that most manufacturers put too much set on the, on the teeth. It enables it to, the saw to cut quickly and get rid of the sawdust quickly. But the problem is that you end up with quite a big channel that the saw is operating in and there's a tendency for the saw to wander in the cut. So one of the things I like to do when I get a new saw is to take the set off the teeth. So to take the set off the teeth what we need is a diamond stone and what we're going to do is just very gently rub the diamond stone along the teeth with the, with the, uh, the blade flat on the bench. We're going to start at the heel and work to the toe. So just one stroke down, and then we turn, the, turn it over and do the other side, again going from the heel to the toe, back the other way. And you probably do that two or three times and then test the blade again by making a cut in some wood. So having done that, what we need to do now is make a cut in, in some wood and you just have a very, very light hold on the saw. Just let it go where it wants to go. If it wanders off the line to the left, it means that there's still a bit too much set on the left of the saw. Alternatively, if it goes to the right, there's still a bit too much set up to the right. To correct that, let's say it's uh, drifting to the left, what we need to do is just take one more pass on the left-hand side. And then we'll go back and do another test cut and see if we've corrected the drift. Once you get the drift set, the saw will very easily track vertically, and for a rip saw, track vertically and follow the line exactly. And that'll make dovetailing much, much easier.